if I'd missed a straight one early on, um, it was a bit more house, you know, sort of ravey type stuff. You I know, see. Um, and I perhaps, you know, was a bit too close to the car in front. best thing about cricket was the traveling so I've seen the world I've seen some fantastic places South Africa Australia New Zealand the Caribbean Asia you know India Pakistan Sri Lanka wonderful countries you learn so much make a lot of friends and you you just it's like a cricketing well it's like a life education when you travel and the delights of Worcester S -s -s yes you know, within the council UK. estates <laughs> within the UK terraces good <laughs> nice gardens Yes, yes. Well, Worcester, I've sort of conveniently blocked out a little bit because I didn't get too many runs here. <laughs> really? So, what about your first car? First car, uh, Mum and Dad bought me a Vauxhall Astra. Um, sporty little thing it was. Um, and I used to hair around the place, um, uh, you know, because I played football in the winter and, and uh, cricket in the summer. And, uh, you know, I had my, my dance music on and I thought I was pretty pretty cool really, I, I probably wasn't very sad. And what about on those journeys, a, you know, a journey to a game, driving yourself to a game, would you have a, a favourite song or piece of music that you might play to get you in the right mood for the game? Mm. My music choice depended on really on how my day had gone. So, you know, if I'd scored runs, you know, I'd have the soul music on, I'd have a bit of Lionel Richie or something, you know, something smooth and mellow and you know, I'd be driving along and I'd let people out, you know, and I'd be a very kind and considerate driver. <laughs> yeah. If I'd missed a straight one early on, um, it was a bit more house, you know, sort of ravey type stuff, you I know. See. Um, and I perhaps, you know, was a bit too close to the car in front and maybe not as um, courteous as I What about the superstitions? Uh, you, you had this thing when you, you batted that you... Uh, you chewed a lot of gum, didn't you? <laughs> well, my so I, what my first recollection of watching cricket was in 1976, and both my favourite cricketers, Tony Gregg and Viv Richards, chewed gum vigorously, and I, I sort of thought, oh, that looks really cool. And if I was not out overnight, I'd put my bat down in the corner, I'd take out my chewing gum and stick it on the end of my bat handle, uh, ready for the following day. Sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Final question. Test 100 or winning Strictly Come Dancing, which is more pleasurable? Winning Strictly Come Dancing was 14 weeks of fun, um, laughing at myself, um, and uh, you know, just experiencing something amazing. So I'd have to say a Test 100 would last it about a day for me, um, full of uh, leg glances and, th and thick edges down the third man. So I think Strictly Come Dancing with the different music and the you know adrenaline of performing live would uh, definitely come first interesting thank you fascinating okay.